All right, let's take you to this other important story now. The clock is ticking for the expiry of the Zimbabwean exemption permits at the end of this month. ZEP holders who want to remain in the country are being encouraged to apply for waivers or visas. Employers who continue to hire illegal foreign nationals will face tougher scrutiny, but the process could very well be in limbo. The Helen Sisman Foundation has challenged the uh, discontinuation of the permit in court. Jasmine was reserved in the matter and it's not certain when the court will make a final ruling. Law firm Weber Wenzel has uh, been monitoring this issue. Immigration specialist Bianca Rutherford Jones joins us now. Uh, thank you very much Bianca for your time here on All Angles. Now can you explain the significance of the six-month extension period for the ZEP permits and why it is uh, so important for the holders to take action before the deadline comes? Yeah, sure. Thank you for having me. So the significance comes in play when you need to go back to see where it all started. Right. So the ZEPs came into place 2009 with its first iteration about the DSPs for this, this above dispensation permits. And then as we went along, they had to renew their statuses each time the program was extended. So Homer Minister decided to terminate these permits at the end of November 2021. They gave them a grace period until uh, December of 2022. They saw that the Zimbabwe nationals has not applied, well, majority of them have not applied for the said visas or waiver applications, and they extended that period with another six months. So that deadline is now the 50th of June. So it comes into play when they have not applied and they stay in South Africa. It will seem it will be seen that they are unlawful in the country. And if they have applied, they can remain here. But provided that they have obviously submitted the right paperwork for that application. So if they don't comply with the rules and regulations, they will have to face deportation. Yeah, and I guess you've told us the harshest consequence for ZEP holders who fail to apply for the waiver or a visa, and that is, of course, by the 30th of June. Uh, but can you give us reasons why the ZEP holders wouldn't apply for a waiver or a, or a visa? Is it about our systems in South Africa, which many um, uh, foreign nationals and even South Africans have complained about, or is it an issue of not wanting that particular document? Um, well, unfortunately, I can't speculate as to what the reasons are for not applying for the visas or waivers. Mm. Um, we can only go on the guidance of what the Immigration Act and regulations stipulate on the criteria of what it is. So we can only confirm that, yes, they should apply um, and they will only know to apply if they have done that. So in order to confirm that they met the certain criteria for specific visas, they should at least try to apply for them. We mm. can't unnecessarily speculate as to why they would not apply for it. Mm. So there have been mentions that there may be temporary concessions available for certain ZP, ZEP holders who, uh, for instance, lodge their application before the 31st of March. Could you provide more details about these concessions and the categories of applicants uh, that uh, can apply or that, that, that they can apply to? Yes, so Homer Fence did um, lodge a transition, which is a blanket temporary concession of last year that was relating to the foreign nationals who applied for visas or waivers and Home Affairs, due to their backlog, have not received their outcomes. So it was until the end of March this year and then Home Affairs extended that blanket of concession on the 29th of March 2023 which now is valid until the end of this year as well. So Home Affairs has said with, in, with immediate effect from September of last year that this concession is now in place and it is for every foreign national who is applied before the 31st of March um, 2023 for a waiver application that is for um, any long-term visa holder, so work, business, study, a company, spouse, relatives, if they've applied for such an application that goes for visas and for waivers, 
then they will fall under that concession of 31 March, which makes their status um, basically valid while they remain in South Africa and waiting for their outcome. Mm -hmm. um, but the visa holders that is falling under this category for the concessions needs to make sure that they comply with the current visa in their passport, even though it might have expired and waiting for their outcome, they are still only allowed to do what the visa is entailing them to do. Mm. All right, so of course the decision to continue with the ZEP program received extensive backlash and is the subject of multiple court challenges. Uh, so could you elaborate mm -hmm. on the main arguments raised in these court challenges and their potential impact on the future of the ZEP program? Yes, yeah, so we are aware that certain stakeholders opposed to the decision argued that terminating the ZEP program um, was alleged that it was short notice from the Department of Home Affairs and it was disruptive towards uh, ZDP holders um, because South Africa seen as their home, they've lived here for years. So the core challenge um, to watch is obviously the Helen Susman Foundation. So if you want to refer to that case, it's the Helen Susman Foundation and another versus the Department of Home Affairs and others. Um, and they've put together the arguments to say that the Minister of Home Affairs decided to end the program without consulting or requesting feedback from the ZDP holders or get comments from the South African public. And the second one was that it was disruptive to their lives uh, and the children, obviously, because they need school and studies. Mm. Um, and then other parties requested that the Department of Home Affairs grants them permanent residency because they have been in the country for 10 years ongoing years. So as to the potential impact uh, for the future of these ZEP programs, we can only comment um, on such way that the judgment has been made public um, by the High Court. Mm. So what is the current status of the court challenges against the Home Affairs Minister uh, and that uh, department's decision to terminate the ZEPs? Has a judgment been issued or, it's, or is this one still pending? So this one is still pending. So it was, the case was heard in April of 2023 and judgment was reserved at that time. So they are aware of the urgency of the matter, but we are watching closely um, when the judgment is released, we will analyze everything and then make our clients aware of what uh, the judgment is for them. Mm. All right. Thank you very much for speaking to us. That was immigration specialist at Weber Wenzel, Bianca Rutherford-Jones.